Red FM's FIFO Life. Big Al here with you, joined with Sandra Lamb. How are you? I'm well, Al. How are you? I'm good. You're the principal psychologist at FIFO Life. Yeah, apparently I am, yeah. I always forget to add that little uh, mention <laughs> at the start. It's all good. Give you the credential that you so <laughs> rightly deserve. Oh, thanks. <laughs> now, uh, today we're going to talk about something um, I think it's quite difficult for people to do, and that's the switch. Yes. Now, you know, you work away, you get in that mindset, you come back, you get in that mindset. But switching between the two roles can be quite difficult difficult for some people if they don't know how to do it. Absolutely. It's the whole sliding doors thing. And it's not just for the FIFA worker. (laughs) It's also for the partner at home. Mm-hmm. Because they have to, if they have family and, and kids to look after, they have to be the mum and dad for a moment. And then when the partner comes back, they're just the mum yeah. or just the dad, depending on which one's the FIFO worker. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's really quite tough. And I think it's really important that people realise that they do have to switch between the two roles. Okay. They shouldn't just blend into one. So what what can we talk about? What, what ideas do you have? What okay. Can... The idea I have is um, I've, I've stolen it oh. from a behavioural researcher called Dr. Adam Fraser. And he talks about this thing called the third space. And essentially what you're trying to do is create this third space in between the two spaces of each of the roles. So when you're heading home, flying home, or when you're, um, I don't know, the day before your partner comes back, think of three things. You have to reflect on your previous role, Mm -hmm. you rest, and then you're reset for your new role. Okay. Does it sort of make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. let's just talk about the reflect bit. So what we want you to do is think about the stuff that went well because human nature is one where we go, okay, oh, we'll just all well, the crap that went on or the bad <laughs> yeah, thing that's yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really what, focus on the stuff that does that you did well and what you might want to do differently next time because if we focus on the positives and progress, we actually increase our optimism, increase our resilience and also increase our happiness. So with the reflect bit, bit think about what do we do well? And even if you're talking about coming off your r and with your partner, sit down and think, hey, for this r and what do we do well? What can we do differently next time? So yep. think about that. So that's the reflect bit. The next one is rest. Okay, after you've reflected on your previous role, rest. So this could mean exercise. For some people, it could mean listening to music or... Okay, not just sleeping. I was thinking no, just sleeping. No, no, no. Okay, cool. No, it's just stuff to... R- things that you can do that you can be present in. So some people start listening to music or writing yeah, a song. Writing a, or reading a book. Reading I was going to say writing a book. <laughs> you can write just a book. Just write a book. Why not? do it, you know. If you've got the time. 30 minutes. Back it out. It's all <laughs> Bang good. it out. There's a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So stuff that you can really feel present in. So if for some okay. people, it really is about exercise. Even for others, it could just be about connecting with other people or socialising. It helps mm-hmm. them really be present. So the respite is about being present. And the final one is reset. So remind yourself that each of the moments that we have are micro moments. You won't get them back. So if you're coming back and you're in a grumpy mood bringing your work home, you've kind of lost that opportunity to greet your husband or wife in a good, a positive way. Your kids are going to grow up. You're not going to get those moments where they're going to get yeah, so you know, true. find it difficult to help them tie the shoelace because they're not going to give a crap about that anymore. You know, those little things. Yeah. Everything's a micro moment. So remind yourself that you have a particular role that is outside of your work role. And that role is equally, probably even more important than your work role. Yeah. So reset your mind. Um, remind yourself of all the positive things and why you're doing what you're doing and why your role as a father, a husband or wife a partner is so critical as well and then sort of if if it helps you to have a look at pictures to remind yourself about the positives then do that as well so those three things reflect rest and reset excellent some great advice sandra thanks for your time no worries and that brings an end to fight for life for this week back again next week our thanks to patterson and dowding one of wa's longest established family law practices providing assistance in a range of areas including achieving fair property settlements and living arrangements with your children for fight for parents for more details go to their website pattersondowding.com.au And to listen to past interviews or to catch an interview that you might have missed, go to our website, redfm.com.au. Until next time, take care.